Hello YouTube. This is the first part of a project log um, set of videos I think I'm going to do about my Forge World Mars Pattern Warhound Titan. Um, I've had the, had the kit for quite some time now and I've uh, cleaned it all up and um, and got rid of all the the excess resin. So it's all it's all cleaned up and in and in bags and I've started on the legs as you can see. So this this uh, this first part's going to concentrate on the legs, and um, in future future parts we're going to build our way up to the the finished Titan. So right, let's go in for a closer look. There we go. Here's the hip section there with all the pistons. You can see a couple of magnets here. Um, I'll come to that in a minute. And then we've got the right leg there coming down. Pretty happy with it to be honest. It's uh, the metallic sort of has come out quite nice. The toes are, are very much working production at the moment. Um, as you can see, there's lots of overspill of, of paint <laughs> at the moment, but these bits here um, are, are going to be gold um, as per the, the pictures on the Forge World website. I, um, I like the look of that one, you know, with the, uh, with the yellow and black hazard stripes on the, on the top of the carapace. I, I like the look of that, I might go for that. But at the moment I'm concentrating on the legs just to, to get them finished really. Um, more magnets here. So I'm, I'm sure you can tell what's coming but uh, I'll, I'll explain it all in a minute. Um, but yeah, I mean it's um, pretty pleased with the way the, the feet and the pistons have, have come out. There's the back back feet there, or the back toes I should say. Um, going up the back legs with the, the pistons there. Um, the back of the hips. Um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it, I think it's come out quite nicely. Um, but that's, uh, that's him so far. Just show you the underside as well. Um, lots of detail on the, on, the, on the bottom of the feet. Um, the Imperial Eagles there on the middle toes. And as you can see there's some magnets um, on, the, on the bottom of the feet as well. And uh, I shall, there is method in my madness, so I shall show you what the, what the score is there. I've uh, done a base, I did a base for him. Um, obviously I wanted him to be free freestanding, so he's fairly static in his pose, so he can stand on any kind of gaming table if you like. Um, but I also wanted a, a kind of a dioramic base for him as well. And this is kind of what I've come up with. Um, it's a base <laughs> I, um, I picked up and it's got the um, the Broken Aquila on it from the Honored Imperium set. Um, the kind of idea was to have it um, on this kind of grassy terrain, which, which my, my Blood Angel Army is on this grassy terrain. So so this is kind of in keeping with it. So the idea was to have this broken Aquila that's kind of long forgotten on the plains of battle. And uh, my Blood Angel army, poor guys here, <laughs> they've uh, gone into battle and um, they, they've, um, they've had a bit of a beating. Um, um, and I've used the Space Marine Casualty set that you can pick up from Games Workshop. I bought them oh, years ago, it seems like, and, and never got around to using them. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity. So we're going for a closer look on these guys. Poor matey there. He's uh he's taken a round to the face or something. And uh he he's he's dead or dying. I'm I'm not really sure, but uh he's not looking good. Uh his his comrade in arms there. Um I think he's taken a round to the face to be honest, and he's fallen fallen where he stood, and he's bleeding out there. Poor guy. And then the last chap here, he's uh he's taking a hit. And he's scrambling backwards, but he's uh, he's still alive, and he's 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 fighting, and he's he's trying to survive, and uh, you know he's <laughs> he's going for it. But luckily, the uh, the Warhound Titan, and this is where the magnets come in. There we go. It's uh, I don't know if you can sort of tell, and it's uh, kind of. Sticks to the base there anyway. Anyway, so that's the, that's the kind of scene it's going to take. The the Warhound has arrived to uh, to reap vengeance on the enemy, the, uh, the unseen enemy that's off the off the off the base basically. And uh, I think this little guy is happy 
that his uh, that his warhound has, has appeared to to save him. <laughs> so that's the base. So I'll explain a little bit more about the magnets that I've uh, I've done on the things on the um, on the legs. So this is all unpainted at the moment. But um, so starting off, we've got the waist armor. I call it the waist armor. And there's the magnets that obviously correspond with. Uh, this section. I don't really know why I magnetised it, just because I could, I really. Um, it doesn't need to be magnetised, it can be painted off the model and then glued on. But uh, I went a bit mad with the magnets, and uh, there we go, so that's magnetisable. Um, and you get two sets of um, shin guards. You get the kind of plain set here, um, and you get the, the much more interesting or much more detailed I should say um, Imperial Eagle shin pads there so and again I've uh, on all of them I've put the magnets in so you can there you, go. So you can swap them swap them as you like basically so there we go just to show that they're they are magnetised on there, and uh, you can you can take them off and uh, swap them and um, change them up. So that that was the idea there. So you know, having the two sets of two sets of shin guards um, is quite nice. Finally, I've got to show you. Sorry about that. My uh, my daughter had a little emergency there. I had to I had to fly. <laughs> so the last bit I wanted to show you was the how I'm going to attach the the body to the the legs. So in the top of the hip section, I've drilled out a big hole and put a 19 millimeter wide magnet in there. It's I think it's 19 mil by two mil. Um, and then in the top of the or the bottom of the body section, I've glued some washers. Now to glue the the magnet and the washers in, I've used JB Weld, which is an industrial strength glue. They call it a cold weld. Um, strong as strong as anything, it really is. Once it goes off, it, it's not coming off. Um, so, so this is the uh, the back of the body. Um, obviously, there's lots of bits to get glued onto this, but that that's the the kind of back control room, if you like. Um, and that's going to go on. Like that, as you can see, the pull is uh, is pretty good. I mean, you can lift up the legs with that magnet, so that that's how it's going to be. Um, so that's 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 the warhound so far. Um, let me know what you think, um, and I'll catch you again in part two. Um, I'm not sure what part part two is going to be about, but um, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.